I'm probably like the worst person to ask this because I have no idea how my clubs are set up. Uh, I'm going to have to look at it. It's, uh, I know it's a 10 and a half degree head, M5. Uh, usually, in what I've done in the past to facilitate my fade, we put weight on the toe of the driver. Uh, is this what it's done? And right now, basically, we just have the two weights in the middle. It's just, I liked it since the first day. This Aldila shaft I've had since I basically got to college, so seven years, I haven't changed it. Uh, but yeah, usually it's set up to facilitate me to hit a fade. Not many draws going on with the driver. I, I use the M4s. So I've always been an M2 player and M4, uh, just because the shape and the way it looked at it. Uh, when we went to the photo shoot and we tried them for the first time, I just started hitting M5s and 6. And I kind of told them, because I didn't want to be biased to, towards one of them, uh, before I was hitting them, I just started hitting and I said, I like this one, M5. It's, it was as simple as that. In the past, what I've liked about the two and the fours is just the shape of it. It just fit my eye better. It was just as simple as that. Three was my baby. It used to be the worst club in my bag up until Adrian helped me out with the three wood. Uh, it's an M5. It does say 15 degrees, but it's a high launch. So it's a little bit, it's set up for higher. So it's got more like 17, spins more, uh, just to have a little bit more control. And it's also set up on a little bit, uh, not upright, but it's set up in a way where it's really easy to turn for me. So it's it's my draw club. So the, the only problem I had is, uh, you know, I never got really fitted for three was that well. And uh, when I turned pro, they asked me and I'm like, well, 15 degrees. And I had this new one that the way I hit it, I was de-lofting it and basically hitting three woods really, really far without any control. I couldn't hit it high enough and I just didn't like it. And that's when I explained to them, I'm like, I should be able to do this. I want this. And I was with Adrian at the Masters and he gave me last year, it was an M1 with more degrees uh, and same thing. And this year we did the same thing. We got this one. It's actually set up neutral, but with more degrees, more spin, easier to control. And I've used it more. Uh, yeah. It's actually helped me be more accurate this year. It's helped me on courses like the players. Uh, there were some holes throughout the year where I just could not play because of it. And not one of them was number two at the players, where I just simply, I needed to hit a draw. 13 at Agasta, you need to hit a draw. and. Uh, I did it on you know five holes in mind and uh, man it's, it's been yeah. I've played good in some courses like Valderrama and yeah. the players simply because this club works a little bit better. It's what it says on the bottom of the club, four iron, four iron. This is my 750 and this is the RSI. RSI it's a little bit older version of, of the UDI, the P790s as well. Uh, it's not a four iron. It's is the shaft of a four iron. It's the specs of a four iron, but it's de lofted. Okay. It's actually somewhere just past the three iron. It's closer three two iron. This would actually be between the four iron and the five wood. The only time I use this is when I know I'm going to use it of a tee more often. For uh, when I'm in the U.S., I usually have the five wood a little bit more, uh, just because you need to carry it into those greens. This one I can hit it high, not as high as the as the five wood, but it's more of a tee shot kind of club. Yep. And, and that's what I have it for. So uh, last week in Wentworth, for example, this was this is the club I used a couple of times on the tee. Hopefully, probably a Carnusti is gonna be the one I'm gonna use a couple of times. And Andrews, it's a little wider, but it, it could happen when I'm using it as well at the old course. So yeah. that's what this one's for. It's uh, the utility club. There's not many times I'm hitting it into the green, but in links course, since you're rolling it, it's a very, very strong possibility. I used to actually, even in college, I played blades. Uh, my last few years of high school, I played blades. And again, I wasn't the best iron player. And I just figured, might as well take the forgiveness out of it. And, and those 750s, when they made them, it, they're very close to, seven, uh, to 730s. They're, they're so close to what like actual muscle backs look like. You just have a little bit more forgiveness, that's it. If you put them down and look at them, I went to the truck yesterday to see, there's not that much of a difference. Uh, some people just have the preference. Uh, I've gotten used to those. Uh, yeah. And I just like the forgiveness part of it. Maybe the reason why I'm such a good ball striker is because I have those clubs. You know, some people say it, with the shorter irons, they might have, they might like the, the muscle backs a little better, but I just, when I change to them, it's it's worked ever since then. Yeah. Uh, it didn't take much to, to get adjusted to it. It's, uh, I'm more consistent with them, if anything, it makes if that makes sense. So that's uh, kind of works out all together. Listen, I had, I got a fit in. This is funny, people won't believe it. I got fitted when I was, I was in high school, maybe 10th grade, and they said, these shafts are good for you. Haven't changed since. I know people can, probably can't believe it. I've had these shafts for 10 years. Actually, yeah, 10, 10 years exactly. I, I honestly haven't, there was a period when I tried some other, but like, it works, honestly, I can't. And, and for the better part of my life, when I was growing up, 
I didn't have the chance to really get fitted. Like in Spain, the way it got fitted, basically they gave me clubs. They have different ones built in with different shafts and I hit them like, okay, I like this one. And they made me a set and that's how it was. I never got a full fit in until college, like okay. until my, my, until I won a tournament in college, basically. So okay. uh, up until then, I had no idea. I played whatever they gave me. Uh, they said, oh, this shaft should be good for you. And I'm like, okay, and I played it. I remember the driver I used for a very long time, the first R11, he was basically what you say of the rack. We went to the store, bought it, play it. It's uh, exactly how I played most of my life up until college. So I didn't really care with shaft and with everything. I felt like I could adapt to anything. And yes. once I started using this, uh, they work, honestly. And I haven't changed my driver in three with shaft since freshman year of college, so that's seven years now. So for those people who think you need to like tinker all the time, you don't really need to. If you like something, don't change. It's as simple as that. If something works, if something's good, there's no need to change. Uh, right. Now, I might, if something really good comes along where I try it and I like it and it makes me even better, maybe, but uh, so far I haven't tried, I haven't seen that. So I got, uh, besides the pitching wedge, I have the high toes, the 60, 56, and 52. I hardly ever hit full shots with this. So most of what I do will be three quarter shots and feeling shots, which, uh, but the gap would be a full shot with the 56 goes uh, about 102 usually for what I've done in track, man, depending where I am in the world. 102 the the 60 it's usually between 85 and 90 depending where i'm in the world and the 52 is about between 115 and 120 depending where i am in the world but you hardly ever see me hit 56 or 60 full shot i'll never do i know my string already looks three quarter but you never do see me do a full swing unless it's a certain special circumstance the only one i'll hit full is sometimes the 52 if I don't think I can spin it enough with the pitching wedge, that's, uh, that's about it. But besides that, never, never full ones. Well, you can't tell on camera. It's, uh, you probably won't be able to tell. I might put it next to the 60. I don't know if you can tell that way. It's 30, it's just over 37 inches. It's, it's funny enough. I had a two balls putter for so long when I was an amateur. Uh, it was 35 inches since I was about 14 years old. And I had that length up until my, I think, junior or senior year of college. And I realized they showed me a video of me putting and uh, actually in Pasa Tiempo in a college event. And I looked too hunched over. I actually went through a period where I couldn't putt for more than 30 minutes because my back would start hurting. And uh, I, it dawned on me, I'm like, what if I just got a longer putter? You know, I've been having this length since I was, I'm 6'3 now, I was maybe 6'1, 6'2 at that time. So like, let's just get a little longer. and. Uh, I just ordered a longer putter. I remember first time, uh, first time I played with it a full round, I think I shot about eight under, made every single putt. And I said, well, that's, that's definitely working. So I'm gonna stick with that. And the main reason was because my back was hurting. I saw with two hunched over and I went on it and you know, better posture, looked better. And, uh, and I've been putter better since. Yeah. It's, uh, honestly, there was no other thought to that. It doesn't look 37 in my hand just because it looks normal, but yeah, it is a little longer. So both, Tailor-made balls are really good. Uh, for my first year and a half, actually two and a half years basically, I paid the TP5X, uh, and that was basically one of the best ball strikers in the world, Tito Green. Uh, but I felt like I could, you know, I could be a little bit better. I needed maybe a little bit more control around the green, so that's where the TP5 comes in. Closer to the green, spins a little bit more, and uh, I put it on play in New Orleans, chipped in three times. I haven't looked back since. Uh, definitely have a little bit ball control on hand. I've gotten you know a little bit better in those distances, so that's why I'm using it. Uh, that great control in the long game, and uh, still that precision on the on the shorter irons, which is what I needed. And finally, why number ten? I was born the tenth of November. Okay. Simple as that. And typically, the best player in the soccer team is, is number ten in the football team. So uh, it's uh, I realized the double meaning afterwards, but as simple as I was born the tenth of November, and uh, it was easy to, to have that number.